Hey everyone, this is Nitro. In this video, I am going to be doing the second challenge battle of Twisted Fate, Chariot of Fate, which is called Dark Princess, if. So clearly this is Lana's battle. And before reaching the land of Velzeria, the Dark Princess engages in a fateful battle with Elwyn and his party. The three feats are a friend in need, less than two units are killed, Princess Shield, Stone Colossus not defeated, and Dark Princess, Lana defeats Elwyn. In terms of my Lana's setup then, clearly, I mean, my Lana is fully built. She's been fully built for a very long time, she is 6 stars, so I should have an easier time than most people for this specific challenge, right? Fully bonded too, even. Um, the only thing is, my Lana's sorceresses are still not fully upgraded. They're currently level 9, not 10. So that does lead to a tiny... It does lead to around some damage reduction. It's something to keep in mind. Um, other than that, in terms of Lana's gear, the only thing that's truly unique is her Black Bride is only level 20 right now. I haven't put any... Uh, I haven't put any uh, Epic Martial Spirits into upgrading it yet. But other than that, she does have basically 15% intelligence from the staff. Another 5% int here, so that's 20% int, and then another 9%. So that's 29% intelligence increase for my Lana, with a good amount of hit point increases on pretty much every single one. And the uh, enchant is clocks. So, alright, that's everything I wanted to say about my Lana. Let's, at this point, jump into the battle. So Twisted Fate, Chariot of Fate, and Dark Princess If. Alright, so, Lana, in terms of skills, I'm going to bring what you see. Lightning Strike, Dark Reaper, and Black Hole. The reason for Lightning Strike is because there is a Scott, so Lightning Strike can do more damage to him. Uh, Dark Reaper is self-explanatory, always the best attack skill that she really has for single target strikes. And Black Hole, because I can just debuff the enemies and do some AoE damage to them. Alright, so, that's everything I wanted to say. Um, there's two Minotaurs who have Ram, Roundabout, and Unstable Shield. There's also a Rock Golem with Lance Phallus, Tenacity, and Indomitable, so it can revive once. There's also the Vampire Bat who has the Sacrifice skill, Siphon, and Reinforcements. And finally, you also get a Succubus with Sleep, Desiccate, and Fireball. Just a quick thing is these missions, generally speaking, you can't complete them for sure the very first time you do them because you have to know how the map kind of works out first before you can attempt it again. So, and I did do that. So I'm just going to get started now. Alright, so... The buff on these enemies is why I have to bring Black Bride on Lana. And it's because they have this effect where... All damage taken is decreased by 30%, and when you receive a debuff, damage taken from entering combat is increased by 60%. So that's effectively a 90% additional damage effect, as long as you can apply debuffs on them. So, Black Bride, key to success. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this Minotaur back like this. Same thing with the other Minotaur. And I'm going to have the Vampire Bat move north. I'm basically going to group up everybody initially uh, in the north, except for one of the Minotaurs who goes south. And we're good to go. So here we are. The enemy pretty much follows preset actions and they start shifting accordingly. So now, Fias is spawned on turn 2. Mm. 
So, there's also a succubus in the south. So to deal with that one, I'm just going to have this Minotaur ram the succubus back. And I'm turning on Vigor Zone to move it to safety. In the north, time to kill Fias. So, to do so, actually really isn't too hard. Um... Let's start with a Minotaur melee attack. And I'm going to place it right here. Next, let's actually have Lena do a free range attack on the Vampire to debuff it. And then throw in some additional damage and it should die. Vampire Bat, melee attack, down it goes. And then now I just set up to make myself ready to kill Hein. So let's place the Succubus here. Place this Stone Colossus here. Hein comes forward. And things look quite good now. So... Let's have this Minotaur finish off the Succubus to start. And next, in the north, I'm going to take on Hind while trying to avoid Elwyn. So, we start with Sleep on Hind. And then follow up with attacks from pretty much everybody, right? So, Dark Reaper. Vampire Bat Strike should be enough. Actually, I'm not going to move in because I'm afraid of Lester. This is turn 3, end of turn 3. Actually, it's fine. Lester should not be able to attack me. So... Let's kill Hein with the Minotaur. So down he goes. Stone Colossus will activate Lance Phallix to guard. And the Vampire Bat is just hanging around. Ready to support. Alex, or Stone Colossus guards against Scott. And yes, as pretty much as planned, mm -hmm. they because he did not have Tidal Surge, he couldn't come after me. So I just need to focus on this Northern group, and I'm pretty much done. And I have to kill Elwyn first, mm -hmm. obviously. So let's go after Elwyn. So, range attack on Elwyn. Followed by a fireball on Owen. Down he goes. This Minotaur should continue to draw their attention. So it's like 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. So I'll just keep it back here. And. I just need to guard against Scott. So let's have the Stone Colossus like this. And the Vampire move up. And we just wait. So, Tidal Surge. Doesn't actually move into position to attack me, interestingly enough. So I'll just keep running with this Minotaur for now. 
And here, kill Scott. So range attack. Second ranged attack. And let's see. Move up. Have the Stone Colossus kill Scott. And then finally, have the Vampire Bats pull Vienna. separated that way and then just gonna continue to have this minotaur run draw mm -hmm. Lester's attention for now right and over here I don't particularly want Lester to come back <laughs> that's the thing so why don't I move back to draw Liana to me, right? So you can move one, two, three to attack where this succubus is. So we'll just do that. I'd rather they split up a bit more before I actually attack. Right? So one, two, three. So one, two, three. So if I place myself here, I could attack. where Liana is supposed to position herself. Perfect. So with that separation, things look good. And now we begin crushing Liana. So three range strike to start. And then follow up with attacks from everybody pretty much. Vampire Bat. And over here, why don't I use this Minotaur to ram Lester away at this point? And then retreat. Does continue to chase me. And I don't think I can escape now. <laughs> so this Minotaur is dead. Probably. We'll just place it here for now. The Northern group will now move down to get close to Lester so that I can finish him off. Yep, down goes the Minotaur. And now it's just Lester himself. So let's activate Lance Phallex here. And have everyone be ready to attack. So here we go. Dark Reaper. Done. So, pretty straightforward overall. Uh, not a difficult fight compared to some of the other ones. Like, and so there's the first achievement. The second achievement. Oh, and that was only two again. Oh, because Lena has to defeat Elwyn. Whoops, that was my mistake. Okay, let's just do it one more time. And what I'm going to do is this Minotaur moves back like so. Everyone else shifts north. So let's move everybody else north. So 
There we go. Now. What happens here is... They activate various skills, yada yada yada. And move around. And on turn 2, Fires is spawned. Alright. So you want to kill Fires, and there's also a succubus in the south here. So two new enemies. So let's have this Minotaur first ram the succubus back here, knocking it back. And then I just move two tiles up to safety. Down here, I just need to kill Fires. Not too hard. So let's start with a three range attack from Lana to debuff this vampire as well. And then everyone else can follow up and finish it. Pretty easy. So Vampire Bat, for example. Well, uh, yeah. So Vampire Bat, attack. And one thing is, Hein can move up to here and have one, two, three attacks there. So if I have this Minotaur finish off the Vampire, you can actually move one tile over to be ready to deal with Hein and them once he moves up. Other than that, let's move, I guess, the Succubus up and move the Stone Colossus up. So Hein moves up, they all shift around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, the key thing here is because I had this Minotaur in the south, these two, Lester and Liana, are focused on attacking him. So I can just attack and finish off the Succubus, and I know Lester will chase after the, Min the Minotaur. It's currently turn 3, so that means Lester, his title surge is still on cooldown. So I'm going to go after these enemies here as a result. Mm -hmm. So to do so, let's first put Hein to sleep. And then I'm going to have Lana come charging in and use a Dark Reaper on Hein. Debuff him and do a lot of damage. Perfect. Now, the Minotaur is going to melee attack Hein and finish him off. And I'm going to have the Stone Colossus move up and activate Lance Phallus. Finally, I mean... Just going to move the Vampire Bat up, and that's it. So, because Scott is cavalry, he goes after the infantry, the Minotaurs, and that blocks off Elwyn from attacking me, preventing him from hurting me at all. So then, I need to crush Elwyn, and Lana has to be the one to finish him off. That's the key here. All right, so let's start with a fireball. And let's see if this is enough damage to kill him. I actually don't know. Kind of praying here. Oh, it was not enough. So, what do I do? Well, for now, Stone Colossus will tank the hits, I guess, and we'll just set up like this and see what happens. Over here, let's just have the Minotaur wait. 
So he can probably move up Tidal Surge to two more, so I, if I stand here, he should be fine. So we're good. Stone Colossus is killed for the first time. But it's still alive, and that's all that really matters to me. And so, Lana needs to finish off Elwin at this point. So once again, to weaken Elwin and finish him off. Now, the Stone Colossus has cannot be healed on him. So that is annoying. I have to hope that he can live here. And over here, well, the Minotaur continues to run away. Actually, yeah. So can the Stone Colossus live? No. But that's not a problem because I'll just follow up and finish this fight then. So we'll have Lana, Free Strike, or sorry, Lightning Strike, and the Succubus, Fireball Scott to death. And then the Vampire Bat will draw Liana to attack me. And this Minotaur will continue to keep Lester's attention. So exact same strategy, just slightly modified order of actions. And Lena can easily finish off Liana with a Dark Reaper. And then it's just Lester. I'm going to just ram away. And here we go. Closing the distance on Lester. Two attempts, but pretty straightforward to get all three feats. And this is a consistent guaranteed clear method. So thanks for watching everyone. I hope you found these videos useful. And on that note, Nitro out.